I don't want a high horse. <clears throat> Hey, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and replace the stock headers and the exhaust on the car. Well, first I'm gonna jack the car up on, on both sides. I'm gonna put some jack stands down, some jack stands up to ensure my safety. And then I'm gonna... All right, all the tools you're gonna to be needing is a, a ratchet. In this case, I'm using a breaker bar so I can uh, break the bolts easily down there from the downpipe. And I'm using a 916. You could, you're supposed to use a 14, but I don't have a 14 right now, so I'm using a 916. It works just fine. Yep. So first off, so first I'm gonna start by unloosening the bolts. On the um, where the downpipe, where the downpipe ends. Can't really see it right there. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. And the header should loosen up from down there. Loosen up those 14 millimeter bolts down there. I'm gonna go ahead and start by loosening my O2 sensor. And then when I'm done with the O2 sensor, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these 12 millimeter bolts. Get them all off, and the header should come right out. Smog's coming up soon, so I might as well just get it ready now. But yeah, I'm gonna throw y'all on the time lapse while I go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna grab something to put on the, uh, the exhaust because. Side off. And it is now disconnected from the downpipe and exhaust. See, it wasn't even too tight. So, when I put these headers on the car, I had to trim the fan, the shroud, just a little bit. It fit pretty nice, too. Not too bad. Sensor out. Looks like I'm gonna need to replace that. Get there for now. And 12 millimeter bolts and headers are off. Alrighty. I just put the bolts in order. Go back on. No hassle. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I had a little issue with the headers. I forgot when I put the headers on. These are four to one headers, so they are a little bit bulkier. So I couldn't um, maneuver them out the top of the engine bay. I tried to move them to the bottom as well, but it wasn't working out, so I went ahead and loosened these bolts. That's what I know. And there it is. Yep, that's the stock one. I'll compare them side by side. This one's so heavy. Like, this is cast iron. This weighs like 30 pounds at least. And this one weighs. <laughs> Close to nothing. Alright, so right now I went ahead and I'm tightening down these so I can go ahead and mock the header up. I need another 14 millimeter bolt. And that's it. That's how you do it. Get it over the Control arm, and it's ready to come out. <clears throat> I 
Alrighty, so I got the stock headers on. I pulled them up from the bottom. I had to take off this part so I can maneuver it every way up. I just gotta take this plug out, put the O2 sensor in, bolt it up. I put the stock gasket back on it just so it has a good seal. And then I'm gonna, I also found the heater shield, the heat shield as well, so I'm gonna put that back on. And I have one more intake piece that I'm gonna throw in right here. But yeah, she's good. I'll probably do a, a start up with just the downpipe just to see how it sounds. But yeah, keep tuning into these videos. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. So I just went ahead and bolted them on real fast. <laughs> just the downpipe, as you can see. I mean, open header. I mean, I'm gonna start her up real quick. I want to hear how she sounds. Listen, the coopty hoopty. The coopty hoopty. Yep, but she's good now, you guys. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and just put the stock bumper back on and call it a day. As you can hear, she's not idling right at all. Sounds like it has a misfire. Sounds like it's running on three cylinders. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plugs and see what's going on. Little PFI speed. When I pull the plugs, let's go. Damn, that avoided me from going to the track. I could have had her at the track if I just changed the plugs. 